and the Federal Road Safety Commission is still hammering on the need for Nigerians to adhere strictly to the rules instituted to ensure safety on the nation's roads. The commandant of the commission says lives can only be well protected on the roads and highways when Nigerians wholeheartedly embrace safety tips. Our correspondent Jacqueline Ogo reports. According to the International Center for Investigative Journalism, 6,456 people died on Nigerian roads in the year 2022. This figure is enough to startle the Federal Road Safety Corps into taking more serious measures to curb road accidents. An officer, uh, ACMBC Kazim. The commander of the agency, Corps Masha Dauda, Ali Biu, on his fact-finding visit to Lagos State, says there must be cooperation from the citizens to instill road sanity. Uh, speeding, yes, that's a very a major problem. And then overloading of vehicles. Uh, a vehicle that speeds is mostly out of control of the driver if there's any incidents, anything. And then a vehicle that is overloaded also in the event of crash, you have more people that will get injured, more, more people will die. So those are two very critical factors. Commercial Ali Biu also warned pedestrians against the usage of their phones and headphones while crossing the roads. If you are on the road, please, if you want to use your phone, uh, go to one side, stay, finish your conversation, then put off your phone and continue with your... The FRSC commander says... Although the agency has plans to improve on the delivery of its obligations, there are areas of urgent need. Uh, we need more patrol cars. We need uh, a gadget that will assist us in enforcement. We also want the municipal government to install uh, traffic lights on the roads, uh, cameras that will detect and send message if there is an uh, infraction. Between January 2023 and mid-August, the FRSC says at least 1,349 people have lost their lives to road accidents in Nigeria. Accidents are major contributors to Nigeria's annual debt rate. The commander of the Federal Road Safety Corps says transformatory measures are being put in place to ensure there is a change in the statistics. Now... It is left for Nigerians to comply. Jacqueline Ogo, TVC News, Lagos.